aromatic hydrocarbons are also known as what? Arenes. And they give a pleasant odor. So when we write a double bond between the carbon atom, which indicates that it is an unsaturated compound. The Kekulé structure of benzene is failed to explain the unique stability and the preferences to the substitution reaction than the addition reaction. Hello, my dear students. A warm welcome, you all. Myself is Purnima. Lecture in Department of Chemistry at Vidyashram Pre University College, Temple of Excellence, Mysuru. My dear students, in our last discussion, we were dealing with the unit called hydrocarbon. Under that, we have discussed about the alkynes. In that, we have learned that what are alkynes and their nomenclature, physical properties, chemical properties, and especially the method of preparation. Today, let us move on to the next topic of this unit about the aromatic hydrocarbons. So, till now, whatever we have studied, it comes under the aliphatic hydrocarbon. They are nothing but a alkenes, alkenes and alkyd. So, we are going a step forward to learn more about the aromatic hydrocarbon. So, let's see what are aromatic hydrocarbons in this session. In addition to that, we are going to understand the nomenclature of that aromatic hydrocarbon and how these isomers are also formed in aromatic hydrocarbon, we are going to understand and we are going to learn more about the structure of benzene and the resonance structure of benzene and the orbital structure of the benzene, we are going to understand in this session. So, directly I will go for the introductory part of this aromatic hydrocarbon. So, when I heard this aromatic hydrocarbon, I usually remember the word known as aroma. Which means to say that this aromatic hydrocarbon, they give a pleasant odor. Which means to say that they give very good smell when we sense such kind of hydrocarbons. Hence, it is named as aromatic hydrocarbons. Okay, so these are the hydrocarbon, they are generally known as arenes and most of these compounds are found which containing benzene ring. Okay, there are of two types of compounds will be there, benzenoid and non-benzenoid. Benzenoid in the sense which consists of what? Benzene ring. The aromatic compounds which containing a benzene ring, they are known as benzenoid. Organic compounds which do not contain a benzene ring, they are known as non-benzenoid. Here I have listed out a few examples for the benzenoid. Where you can see that this is my benzene ring, where it consists of one alkyl group and it is named as toline. Similarly, you can see that if two benzene rings are attached to each other and forms a naphthalene and also if it is attached by a bond, it is named as by phenyl okay this is how we can easily understand what are aromatic hydrocarbon remember there are two types of aromatic hydrocarbons will be there they are benzenoid and non-benzenoid benzenoid in the sense which consists of benzene ring non-benzenoid in the sense these are the organic compound which do not contain a benzene ring okay and generally this aromatic hydrocarbons are also known as what Arenes and they give a pleasant odor. Next comes to the nomenclature. The benzene and its homologous are generally called by the common names which they are accepted by the IUPAC system. The homologous of the benzene having a single or an alkyl group, they are named as a alkyl benzene. So, while naming for the aromatic hydrocarbon, if any alkyl groups are attached to the benzene ring, first we need to give the naming for this alkyl group followed by the benzene ring, which will be accepted by the IUPSC system. The name of this compound is benzene. But to this benzene ring, if methyl group is attached, we need to name the methyl group first, later on benzene. So, it is methyl benzene. Then coming into the, there are two carbon atom will be there and five hydrogen atom will be there. So, it is ethyl benzene. Then coming 
according to the this carbon atom which is having another two sets of methyl group they are known as isopropyl group so it is named first so it is isopropyl benzene so this is a isopropyl group okay this is how if any alkyl groups are attached to the benzene ring we have to name it first followed by the benzene ring so hope you all understood with the simplest nomenclature of the benzene we we'll see with the isomers in the benzene or in the aromatic hydrocarbon dimethyl benzene have a common names known as xylene and three isomeric forms of xylene are as follows this is orthoxylene metoxylene and paraxylene so here the dimethyl benzene dimethyl in the sense what the benzene ring which consists of what two methyl group two methyl group maybe it is present at the ortho position meta position and para position it will be named as xylene so ortho xylene meta xylene and para xylene this is how we can write the three resonance structure three isomers for the di methyl benzene so what was those so they are ortho meta and para so why is it like that because the methyl group will be present at ortho side para side as well as at the meta side hence it is named as ortho xylene meta xylene and para xylene now let us understand the structure of benzene so now we know that aromatic hydrocarbons in the sense there must be a benzene ring in that compound then what is the structure of the benzene who discovered this structure of benzene let's see now by elemental analysis it was found that the molecular formula of benzene is c6h6 and this indicates that the benzene is highly unsaturated compound in the sense i can write the structure once again so how many carbon atom will be there there are six carbon atom will be there is it right each six carbon atom which are having only one hydrogen atom is it right yes but remaining bonds of the carbon atom is balanced by writing the double bond between the two carbon atom is it right so this indicates that the valency of the carbon is 4 but we will write only one hydrogen atom outside to indicates the bond with the carbon atom this shows that there is a highly unsaturations which is present in each carbon atom to balance that the valency in the carbon atom we write the double bond is it right so this indicates that there is a unsaturation so when we write the double bond between the carbon atom which indicates that it is a unsaturated compound as we have learnt in alkene and alkyne same here if you write the double bond to balance the valency of the carbon atom it indicates that there is a high degree of unsaturation in the benzene ring and the molecular formula is c6h6 So in 1865, Kekulé gave the cyclic planar structure of the benzene, which has six carbon atom with the alternative double bond and a single bond. To understand more about the structure of this benzene, you know, in 1865, the Kekulé he gave the cyclic planar structure. So this is a Kekulé structure. and it is known as cyclic planar structure why it is cyclic because it is a closed chain where it consists of how many carbon atom 1 2 3 4 5 6 so there are six carbon atom which is there and it is linked together by a alternate single bond and double bond hence it is named as cyclic planar structure and you can see that we use a alternate single bond and double bond this shows that the valency of the carbon is balanced by writing the single bond and double bond which is having only one hydrogen outside this shows that there is a high degree of unsaturations which is present in the benzene ring that is why 
in order to get the clear information about this benzene ring he has given the cyclic planar structure where the, there are six carbon atom will be there attached to the six hydrogen atom with the alternative single bond and a double bond the kekule structure indicates that the possibilities of the two isomeric form that is 1,2 dibromo benzene in one of this isomers bromine atoms are attached to the doubly bonded carbon atoms whereas on the other it is attached singly bonded carbon atom so here you can see that so these two are the example for 1,2 dibromo benzene Why it is named as 1 comma 2? If you number it 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, you can see that the bromine group, it is a halogen group which is attached to the first and the second carbon atom. Is it right? Hence it is named as 1 comma 2 dibromobenzene. Similarly here also, it is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. Between the first and second carbon atom, the bromine group is attached. Hence, it is named as 1 comma 2 dibromo benzene. If you look at the structure, you can see that between the first and second carbon atom, there is a single bond. But here, between the first and second carbon atom, there is a double bond. So, this indicates that in the benzene ring, you know, there is a possibilities of two isomers are formed. Why is it like that? Because while writing the benzene ring, we have understood that there must be alternative single bond or there must be alternative double bond. Is it right? If you write that structure, we will clearly understand that there is a two possible isomers that can be right for the benzene ring. Okay, so that is why by taking the example of 1 comma 2 dibromobenzene, he explained that we can write two possible isomers for the benzene. And later, in fact, only one ortho dibromobenzene could be prepared. To overcome this problem, Kekule suggested that the benzene was a mixture of two forms. Later, he found that he can prepare only the ortho dibromo benzene. So, this is a ortho position, is it right? So, only the ortho substituted benzene he can prepare it and later he come to the conclusion that the benzene can be written in a two way that is we can write it in a this way where we are showing the alternative single bond and double bond and in this way also we can write the alternative single bond and double bond. So this indicates that benzene is a mixture of two forms. So how we can write? So this is my benzene ring. This is my another benzene ring. If you write the double bond like this, alternatively you can write the remaining benzene ring like this. So this is how you know the Kekule he explained the two possible isomeric forms which can be done in case of benzene. But there is a failure for this Kekule structure. What was that? The Kekule structure of benzene is failed to explain the unique stability and the preferences to the substitution reaction than the addition reaction. So, while doing the substitution reaction, you know, by adding the bromine hydrogen or to the alkyl group, so it does not explain the unique nature of benzene. That was the main drawbacks of the Kekule structure. So, that is why we need to understand the resonance structure of benzene. What is the resonance then? Resonance is a phenomenon in which two or more structure can be written for a substance which involves the identical position of an atom, it is known as resonance. If you take any one structure, you can write this structure in a two or more form. That is said to be resonance structure. Why we will write this resonance structure? Only because to understand the position of the atoms. Once you understand the position of the atoms in the given compound, you can easily understand what is the actual structure of the given compound. In benzene, the Kekule suggested that the structure 1 and 2 
are represents a resonance structure and the actual structure of the molecule is represented by the hybrid of this two structure he suggested that we can write the benzene ring by writing the alternative double bond as well as with a single bond by writing the structure 1 and 2 but we can write the structure also like this why i have written the dotted line here because this dotted line indicates that this is a hybrid structure of the benzene where this single bond and double bond they are nothing but a pi electron they started delocalizing once they get delocalizing you can write the structure also as benzene ring with this with the 1 0 so this indicates that we can write the resonance structure for the benzene ring or you can write the benzene ring like this okay and this is a hybrid structure of the benzene and lastly we will understand what is a orbital structure of the benzene all six carbon atom in the benzene rings are sp2 hybridized and sp2 hybridized orbitals they overlap to each other with the s orbitals of six hydrogen atom forming carbon carbon and carbon hydrogen pi bonds we know that in the carbon how many electrons will be there there are six electrons will be there what is the electronic configuration 1 is 2 2 is 2 and 2 p 2 if you write for the 2 s we know that there are only two electrons will be there similarly for the 2 p how many electrons will be there two electrons will be there this is in the ground state if you write it in a excited state we know that one of the electron from the 2s will be shifted to the 2p and forms a three unpaired electron in the 2p and this unpaired electrons which is present in the 2p which makes the the carbon and hydrogen to bind to form a pi bond and this forms a sp2 hybridization in the carbon so hope you understood how we have written the the orbital structure for the carbon we know that in the carbon how many electrons will be there six So in the two years, only two electrons will be there, whereas in two p, only two electrons will be there. But if you write it for the excited state, one of the electron from the two years will be get shifted to two p, so it forms a sp two hybridization. The remaining unpaired electrons, which is present in the two p, they overlap to form a pi bond. Okay, so this is the actual structure of the benzene, where it shows the orbital structure, or you can write the structure also in this way. so there are three orbitals will be there right like this you can write the remaining structure so they overlap together and there is a one more orbitals which is p orbitals which is not a paired one which is unpaired one they can overlap side wise or like this also it can overlap it and forms a structure and forms this alternative single bond and a double bond in the benzene ring in the simplest way i have written this structure so hope you all understood with the orbital structure of the benzene ring so here also i have written the orbital structure of the benzene ring which consists of a single 2p orbitals which forms a pi bond with the remaining carbon and hydrogen atom and this dotted line this shows the presence of the double bond in the benzene ring and you can say that if you rearrange the dotted line you can write the structure in this way as well as in this way just by delocalizing the double bond which is present in the benzene ring so this shows that 
the presence of the single bond and double bond in the benzene ring they can delocalize it and forms a electron cloud inside it and we can write the exact structure of the benzene as like this is it right this is all about the orbital structure of the benzene at the last we can say that the x-ray diffraction data indicates that benzene is a planar molecule and the data indicates that all six carbon carbon bond length are of same order they are having 139 pm and which is intermediate between the carbon carbon single bond is 154 and carbon carbon double bond is 133 pm and thus the presence of pure double bond in the benzene ring gives an idea about the reductance of benzene to show the addition reaction under the normal condition and also it explain the unusual behavior of the benzene. So this was a data which was recently discovered for the benzene. So hope you understood with this data. In the next session, we are going to understand more about the aromacity in the benzene. So by this, I like to say that, so today I have done only the introductory part of this hydrocarbon, especially with the aromatic hydrocarbon and the structure, resonance structure and who discovered the structure of benzene also I have explained. In the next session, you are going to understand more about their chemical property and physical property. Till that, take care, be safe. Thank you.